All right, I'm going to show you some proof in this video that Jesuits, this professor at Georgetown University, admits to using mind control. They're studying mind control and how it ties into the mark of the beast that's coming, the mark that's in the forehead. I'm going to show you it all ties together, ties back to the Jesuits from right here. You can see Georgetown University, okay? James Giordano, uh, professor here, and uh, tie in with Star Wars and some other interesting things as well. But uh, let me just show you this real quickly here. Just incredible stuff. Let's watch this. Okay, is mind control possible? This is their video that they put out, okay? In Star Wars, what we see is we have Obi-Wan who's influencing the way stormtroopers think. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Well, that's not exactly the way we do it. But that's not exactly the way we do it. He just admitted to using mind control. It's not exactly the way we do it. And if you understand the, the symbology there within this movie, the Star Wars movie, it's, it's a lot of New Age occult type of stuff going on, levitation, making things levitate and whatever else. Um, but there's different Jedi masters. The Jedis are another way of saying Jesuits. Okay, And very interesting, saw this video here, this uh, labyrinth here, which they do at Jesuit retreats. You walk the labyrinth. It's all part of the mind control exercises of St. Ignatius de Loyola. And what's the channel? Herbal Jedi. Hmm. No connection. No connection. Remember, Brian Denlinger's a crazy nut that thinks Jesuits are behind everything. Remember that, okay? I'm not showing any proof here. Just my conjectures and whatever else. <laughs> it's what my enemies say. But he just said, it's not exactly how we... Do it. Let's continue. There's some real bombshells in this video. But, interestingly, from the brain science as we know, that we can get a pretty good understanding of the way brains and their functions operate, inclusive of the way cognitions and emotions influence our behaviors and our decisions. By having okay, emotions influence our behaviors and decisions. Control through fear. God hath not given a spirit, us a spirit of fear. You see? What are they doing with the whole... Um, coronavirus thing, whatever else, Fauci and Redfield and Trump and Newsom, Gavin Newsom and Andy Cuomo, oh, they're all Jesuits. I've been showing that these guys are all Jesuits. We, we, we're understanding the brain sciences and, and basically how to control people through fear. That's what, what he's admitting to. Yeah, and, and you, you got to love a professor that has a, a skull, skull of a man behind him on his books. Right. Way to decorate the office there, you sick ticket. But let's continue. Having insight to these things, we can change our discourses, our narratives, and perhaps even our postures and gestures to be able to influence others. In a... Okay. Our discourses, when we talk, our postures and gestures to control others. <laughs> They're admitting to it. You study the MK Ultra thing, the Monarch program, the all this stuff. We can control people through our guest gestures and, and our, our posture and, and our discourses and how we do things. He's admitting to it. I mean, these, these, the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, no group has been more worthy of hell than these people. Okay? Their damnation is just. Sick tickets. Let's continue. A variety of different ways. Some of the more specific brain science and technology approaches, what we call neuroscience and technologies, include a variety of different ways of affecting mechanisms and networks in the brain. Isn't he just so scientific the way he says it? Just makes you feel warm and safe inside. Just different ways that we control you through neuroscience. <laughs> Affect different patterns and things in your brain. That's totally safe. I mean, where in the Bible is any of this stuff at? Let's control people through through neuroscience and, and getting into their minds and doing things. Society of Jesus, yeah, my foot. The Antichrist, more like it. Continue. This is primarily done through either transcranial or direct implantation of a variety of devices. Ooh, ooh. Either transcranial or direct 
implantation of a variety of devices. Did you get that? Direct implantation of a variety of devices. Mark of the Beast in the forehead. There you go. Continue. In the former case, these transcranial approaches, we can use electrical current, either direct or alternating current. We can use electrical current, either direct or alternating current. It's totally good to control somebody's mind. It's, it's not bad. Well, kind of like uh, over here. The, uh, here on this page here, you just look it up, you know, Google Nazi electric shock experiments, and it comes up. Uh, how electroconvulsive therapy became a Nazi weapon. Electroconvulsive therapy, ECT. That's what my wife was subje sub subjected to when, you know, beginning at one year old. One year old baby, she's got the papers to prove it. She was put through this exact torture right here in America. Crichton University out in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. I take this very personal, okay? This stuff ticks me off big time. And we can we can do this, you know, here we can study it and see we're just we're just using more modern techniques and, and everything and it's not the same as what the Nazis were doing. It's totally different now. Yeah, because this is this Nazi stuff over here is low tech. The the new stuff, oh well it's a lot better now. It's it's so much better for you, you know. Yeah, sure. Continue. Or a magnetic field to change the way certain brain networks operate. Or a magnetic field to change certain way the brain waves operate. Mind control. Admitting to it. Jesuit professor. By changing those brain networks, we change brain functions. And at certain times, we have shown that these can be operative in changing the way people perform on certain cognitive tasks. I was in a trance here where I was talking. We can do this and change the way people perform on certain cognitive tests. Uh, you know. Okay. Continue. Also, the way people feel about certain things. Now, that's not exactly... Also, the way people feel about certain things. Kind of... See, I'm, I'm really having to say something nasty here. We can change the way people feel about certain things. We can control them through fear, in other words. And, and you know, and so you have to kind of, you know, wince a little bit when you say it. To cut the point across, it's, you know, part of the mind control. You know, as a doctor, I'm speaking to you as a patient. You're laity. I'm so much more intelligent than you, so you might not understand all these things. Yet. <laughs> Going to hell, this guy. And he deserves it. Disgusting. Let's finish up this sick devil here, what he has to say. Exactly, mind control the way Obi-Wan does it. But we could begin to look at the new brain sciences as a form of biotechnological Obi-Wan Kenobi. In other words, we're harnessing various forces of science, technology, and of nature to be able to influence the way a brain works and the way the mind operates. Yeah, so uh, Obi. And Obi. if you want any more proof that the uh, Jesuits and the Roman Catholic Church are behind the whole mark of the beast system that's coming and the, the implantable microchips in the forehead and everything else. And they, these are the modern Nazis. There's the old Nazis doing things back during World War II. Electroconvulsive therapy became a Nazi weapon. There you go. And here they are today. And you get all the little, the little sideshow freaks and whatever else that, that get off on this stuff. And there's a labyrinth and herbal Jedi. Right there. I've seen a few of this guy's videos, you know, because he had some interesting information on herbs and whatever else and been putting some scriptures in the comments and whatnot. And just seeing, okay, this guy's into witchcraft. He's, you know, admits it. And, you know, then I see that of oh, this herbal gathering at this, you know, with this labyrinth and everything. Yeah. Mind control exercises of St. Ignatius de Loyola. I've read the book. Okay. There you go. Uh, if you want further proof of what I've been saying to be accurate, from their own sources, there it is.